this is one of these uh, classic soft rock CDs. Uh, the one with Bonnie Tyler won me over. One of my guilty pleasures of music. It's a heartache. Uh, just on the way to town. Disgusted with my last video. Just close up. I should have learned before about putting the close up lens on on that and then sitting there because it's just stupid, but I do it. It takes me about six months to a year, and then I do it again. Anyway, uh, I don't have time to really edit everything as much as I'd like to, and then I've been dealing with that with a camera. I don't think that really matters, but quality's just not there. I don't know. Maybe I should just quit messing around and get busy doing other things. Hello, Larry. Happy fall. He likes laying in these leaves, don't you, Larry? Get some grubs or something, right? Get a tick on you. Haven't had any ticks yet. You can go back to whatever you were doing. <laughs> Coming with me? Bye. Yeah. I didn't like my last video. I, uh, uh, depending on when this video was, the uh, auction video. Sorry about all the blurred content. I think I already apologized for this at least once on another <laughs> another part. Uh, yeah, I bought this at Goodwill today. Uh, it's seven bucks. I don't know why. Uh, mainly because this stuff was inside here. Um, I don't know if this stuff has much value, but I noticed, uh, oh, here's this thing, too. What's this? Solder sucker. There's a soldering iron here I'll keep for myself. I may end up needing one someday. I'm hoping there's some solder in here. I bought it for these. There's one, two, three Craftsman wrench sets in here, and I think they're all vintage, so uh, I think they're worth a little bit. There's like this stuff too, which I have no use for it, but I'm sure somebody that messes with electronics might. There's a tool set, please, and there's some keys with a refrigerator key, I guess. I scanned it with my phone to see what the heck it was. There's some of this crap, some roach clips, and uh, a socket craftsman adapter. I'm going to hold on to all these. 9 volt connectors because I could possibly use them. There's some chips in here too. Um, 
don't know what they are. I don't remember much about electronic. And then there's this thingy. IC inserter Exactro kit, whatever that is. And there's these tools. Um, hmm, scrapers and stuff. I'll keep those. Something in there, but probably nothing good. And we got some, there's a solder, real thin solder, cool. Contains lead, don't eat it. There's another one, connection, connection. Quite a few of these. I, I, don't, I may hold on to a few of these little wire connectors. Probably keep that alligator clip. Probably throw all these keys away. Sort through them, make sure I don't see any lawnmower keys. Sometimes you can get money out of them. Uh, the case, I don't know what if it has any value or not. Not you, it's got a broken tab here. Probably use for, for something. I'll probably hold on to it from the flea market, maybe. There's another soldering, or I think it's, yeah, two soldering rings. Oh. <laughs> I got a stand for the better of the two, but I'll probably just hold on to both of them. But this must be something to line up your circuits on. I only ever had a few electronic sets when I was a kid. Tore a lot of crap apart, but I basic electrician stuff is about all I know. Hooking some wires, negative, positive, you know, that kind of crap. Larry, what happened to your leaf adventure, huh? Don't bite me. You love me that much? Aw, I'm happy for me. I thought, aw, I thought somebody I found wanted to, uh, take part in this case because it's probably nice and soft in there other than laying on them chips. And here's some of these too. Little um, ohms or what are they? Resistors? Is that a resistor? Mm. And there's a seed. Probably a, a vermin turd as Hopper calls them in this bag of toys. I bought a bag of vintage toys. These are Marks. Colored animals. Uh, there was two of the bo a boxer and a terrier dog figurine by Marks, uh, and then there was these ones by I think Green something. And there's this little guy, uh, this guy, probably from Gumball Machine, either a charm. Uh, there's some these oddball Hong Kong snail and bunny. I don't know what though. I might put them in a little bag and sell them for a dollar. Uh, here's a. Vintage G.I. Joe telephone pack. Phone's inside here. Hold on. See, there it is. And then there was a cart. Just quite a bit of the white fence. I'm going to put all the color animals together. And uh, I think I'm going to leave the... I'm going to check the dogs. I might save them up. I don't know if I'll put this brown uh, armadillo in there or not. It's marked Hong Kong, so it probably doesn't belong in there. Because this Mark stuff's not Mark. The newer stuff of this, I believe, is Mark China, where the old stuff is not Mark. These boxers are marked only, right? Whoa, I just, or the dogs, I should say. They made a lot of dogs, but they're marked on the top of the stand. Yeah, uh, so that's why I bought. Oh, there was a bunch of boats, like war boats, but the tires, which most most of them, I don't know if they have any value. So there's quite a few of them, but uh, basically, because I knew that was in there, and I figured this was uh, these uh, these animals would bring me enough money. Got a couple chickens. I don't think this. I don't see this card as part of it. I probably keep the. I'm probably put the animals in the fence together, depending. But, I'm listening to this soundtrack for it's an Italian. Uh, he did. Uh, I somehow went from boogie match. So whatever. Anyway, back to this. That's it. Um, yeah, there was a scoop in there too. Well, I found the Park Avenue. It's down on that back street. I went up to the heights first, and I should have came this way. I had to go clear back down and read the dang sign, so we'll see what's good. Dang mud puddle. My new shoes. Ah, uh, all I got was a penguin. They had dog man books. I got eight of them and two of that uh, zombie goldfish, which had the little spiral. They're paperbacks. They had a hardcover, that one book, but doesn't match the ones I have, so it must be paperbacks that I have. 
So there, at least maybe I have a lot of dogmen now. Yeah, I don't know if it was worth driving on this messing around. I can't even see where the hell I'm going. <laughs> Let's see if I can turn around. Getting stuck. I can't believe I've been on this whole back road for two times now within the last couple weeks. This, I thought this was where that sale was supposed to be and they didn't have it. No signs or anything when I came here. We're going to go that dirty back way. <laughs> this used to be a regular street, I think. Right, it's still there, but they, they didn't keep it up very well. There's a fire hydrant back there and everything. This all looks dirt. Oh, look at the deary. Hey. I don't see it. Took off quick. No, lots of creepy crap up this way. Look at this road. I don't know if I filmed much of it the last time. Whoa. Oh, well. I'm not sure where that high road up here goes. I'm not going there because it'll probably get stuck. Whoa. We're four-wheeling. Oh, well. Now we'll go back down. I am not going. I think that probably goes back up to the top of the hill somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Just gonna go this way again, go off the edge. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys my screwing around. Spend as much time driving around than I do showing crap. Oh well. Everybody else shows you crap. I'm gonna show you driving around playing music, which I didn't play, huh? I was playing Green Day. Alright, I could have bought that church. I would have lived in that building. That place is awesome. It's got a stage. It's got a balcony area where they would have ran the lights and the sounds when they put a play on, which is pretty sweet. We're not coming in here because I blocked the road. Oh well, sorry buddy. So mad. Oh, my shoes got to clean now. Just been to the store and I'm leaving. Some lady was in there talking on her phone and out loud with the speaker on. <laughs> And now I'm leaving there spraying the door handle with Lysol and she goes, oh, she's got a contagious sickness and it's deadly. And I'm like, and the doctor didn't tell her she shouldn't go out. I'm like, what? <laughs> Yay. I already feel sniffly. I got a freaking cold, probably COVID. Now I'm going to probably get sick with some whatever that lady had. Oh, boy. You should just stay home. Don't go anywhere. Well, I now have ten different Dogman books. These four are not first prints. These six are. Um, there was also a bookmark in one of them. Only one has writing in the front of the book from somebody's grandmother. A um, little bit of wear. Fortunately, there's only, I believe there's 12 regular books in the series. And then there's a, there's supposed to be 13, but I think the 13th is the Cat Journal or some bonus book. But, uh, I'm debating whether I should hold on to them until I find the other couple books and then get a better price probably if I have them all. Maybe I'll even pick up a couple first prints of the first books. And then on the zombie goldfish, I'm just going to stick them back for a while. I only have six books. There was, uh, I think I had a double, or maybe it was two doubles. No, I had two doubles in the dog man, but because I had four of them to begin with, and I got eight today, but I could only, uh, but the other two are doubles. So I'll wait and see if I can get at least a couple more of them zombie goldfish before I mess with them. I won't be picking them. Once I sell this lot, I won't get any more of them. Oh, and I found this at Goodwill today for my, I used my credit, Doc Savage. <laughs> Doc Savage. Click. <laughs> Doctor Strange Multiverse. I wanted to see it, but I wasn't going to go pay in big money or anything. And it didn't seem to be on anything I had. I only had, like, um, somebody's subscription to HBO and... And then whatever's free, but uh, it's Sam Raimi, so back in the day I would have had to get it first. But um, yeah, I'm interested in seeing it. Hopefully the studio didn't take more control than he did, and it'll be more Sam Raimi than whatever. So uh, there you go. I'm listening to this soundtrack for it's an Italian uh, he did that I somehow went from YouTube house on cemetery hill to Tubi watching house on cemetery hill 
to liking the orchestra or the guy Walter um, Rosali Rosati, the guy that composed the music. So I was looking for albums on eBay, <laughs> and then I saw this album and realized that's Terrence Hill and uh, Bud Spencer. Like Terrence Hill's My Name Is Nobody, and they both starred in a lot of movies like Trinity. And anyway, so now I'm listening to this. I think I can get this album soundtrack for like 40 bucks, but. Uh, I've only heard two songs. First one's cool. This one's Boogie bo Match, so whatever. Anyway, back to this. That's it. Um, yeah, there was a scoop in there, too.